Good evening, and thanks for joining me, the Glen Cairn Gamer, for a Dram and some games. This is the channel where I combine whiskey and games. Tonight, it looks like we are going to be drinking the Lismore 18. I actually asked my wife the other day to pick up a whiskey she hasn't seen me drink yet, and it looks like she picked up this Lismore 18. I actually have not had this before. It looks like it's a space side single malt scotch. So let's open it up and see what's going on here. A nice tin. It's actually, it's a pretty nice looking bottle. Let's open this up. If you're not familiar with space side scotches, they're not quite as peaty as what you would get out of an Isla Scotch. But they are a little peaty. Um, they're mostly floral and fruity notes. Let's pour this out. Get a nice pour in here. Look at that color. It's a nice little caramelly color for sure. Look at that. So this is the 18 year Lismore. I'm going to take a quick sip of this. Actually, first, as is customary, we must nose our scotch. Now, some people, I have been to a couple of whiskey tastings where they're just like violating the scotch glass. I will not do that tonight. I am not going to be pretentious. I actually can't get a whole lot of the flavors out of these scotches. I just know what I like and what I don't like. I will let you know if it's bad or if it's good based on what my preferences are. So I will sniff it really quickly. Okay, so on the nose, it's a little sweet. There's a little bit of bite on that nose. A um, little more bitey than I would expect out of an 18 year old scotch, but let's give it a little taste and see what we got going on here. Okay, so initially on that, I'm getting a little bit of, probably a little bit of fig. It kind of went down a little, I want to call it a little too hot. Don't know if that's the right word for it, but it's a little hot for me. I would, just, I would probably think an 18-year-old scotch wouldn't have been as bitey as that was. That's definitely a bit more than I would expect. I would have uh, probably liked a more mellow on that. Um, it's not bad per se, but it's not as smooth as I would have been expecting if I would have had like probably, let's say like a Balmore 18, which is one of my favorite scotches, by the way. Balmore 18, if you can get your hands on it, it's a great scotch. I've never actually had Lismore before. This is my first time with this distillery. Um, I'm not a big Speyside guy. But I'm actually more of an Isla guy. I like the peat. I like the smoke. Um, this isn't bad by any means, but my wife says she paid about $70 for this. And disclaimer, I live in the middle of freaking nowhere in the mountains. So my whiskey shelf is about, I don't know, half the width of an of a normal shelf you'd see at a, at a normal um like total wine i don't have any total wines where i'm at so this was about 70 dollars uh i don't think if i knew what i was getting into that i would spend 70 dollars on this whiskey um i might spend like 45 to 50 on this but knowing that this is a 70 dollar scotch and just getting my first initial sip on it, I do not think I would buy this. It is, again, not bad, but let me take one more sip before I make a general reading on this. Okay, actually the second sip was better than the first sip. I'm still getting some of that like floral figgy on there. The finish is still sticking around with me, which I don't hate. I like a scotch that has a nice long finish. Um, this finish kind of sits with you for a nice good like 10 plus minutes it seems. 
um this the finish is a tiny bit smoky it's it's definitely not like a peated scotch but i'm gonna give the smoky finish on there as part of my like tasty notes for sure and again i cannot tell you enough that i am not good at pulling out flavors from my palate i only know what i like and what i don't like I have had scotch for years, and I still cannot pick out those oak or ash or uh, blueberry or vanilla notes that you find on the back of your bottles. You see all those things. Can't do it. I've tried. I can find a little bit of here and there of my flavors, but for this, definitely a little bit of a fig, definitely floral. It's definitely smooth. A little bitey on the back end I don't think I would spend $70 on it like that's about what I'm gonna say for this so if you're new to this channel I'm gonna drink this whiskey while I play I'm gonna play Elden Ring I'm a little further into the game than you might expect this is because I just had the idea to upload to YouTube now but I would definitely want to start new game plus and if there's any DLCs I would definitely play that so please stick around and watch me die in the lake of rot.